Hi guys, it's Kayla. So today I'm going to be filming a fresh springtime makeup look. Um, so if you want to see how I got this, um, I used a foundation that I've been loving. Um, I just kind of started using it not too long ago, but I'm using it for a little while to give my opinion on it and tell you what I think of it. If you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put on foundation already moisturized my face. Um, I don't use a primer, but I did use a moisturizer and I'm going to try, I have not used this yet, I'm going to try the Wet n Wild Photo, Photo Focus and Rose. It's a three in one primer water. So I'm going to use that right now. Um, I want to, it has a weird smell to it, but we'll see how it works. And I'm just going to press that into my face so that it soaks in. Okay, and the foundation that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Um, I used this once before and I didn't like the smell of it, but I kept seeing good reviews on it. So I went and bought it again and I love it now. So, um smell to me just kind of goes away over time um I don't notice it after a while so it's fine with me um but I have the shade 425 and this does give you a pretty good coverage it's a full coverage um but I think at the same time it looks natural and looks like skin so that's what I really like about this foundation to apply it um with this brush it doesn't have a name but i got it from tj maxx it's just a foundation brush so i'm going to be using that to apply i just kind of dot it all over my face and i'm going to blend it in and if you see me looking over there that's because the mirror is right over there so i'm just looking in the mirror to blend it in look how much it is dewy but I do set it um to make it matte if I don't set it it would probably um come right off of my face see look at the difference between that side and that side but it's not a flat a flat finish which I like about it I think it's nice for summer And it definitely leaves me a little dewy, as you can see that. Actually, it looks very dewy on camera. But we're going to set that, so we will not see that anymore. And I'm gonna blend it down my neck. Okay, so we got that on. And then next I'm gonna apply my concealer. And this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. I love this stuff. I don't like it as much as uh, Tarte Shape Tape, but I think it's pretty good. It covers what I need to cover, um, but I am still a Tarte Shape Tape fan. So I'm gonna apply that down my nose right there. And then after I apply that, I use the same uh, foundation brush to blend it in. Sorry if the lighting keeps getting weird. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to do, since I have dark circles, I'm going to do a little bit more concealer, just right there and there, and then blend that in, just so I get a little more coverage under my eyes. But I don't want it to be too cakey, so I just put a little bit. There we go, sorry, but the lighting keeps getting weird. Okay, so next, to set all of this, because I am pretty glowy and I don't want that much glow, but I do want um, a little bit. And I think once I set it, it comes out, like it doesn't stay matte the whole time, it kind of gets glowy over time. That's what I like about it as well. Um, so I'm using the Cody Airspun powder and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the cap and I'm going to use this real techniques uh, brush I think it's a bronzer 
that was a con yeah contour brush but I obviously don't use it for that purpose I'm going to set under my eyes first and you can see how much it's mattifying the foundation Love the coverage of this foundation. Okay, so next I'm going to bronze my face. I don't really contour. Um, I just kind of put it around the perimeters of my face to warm it up. So I'm going to use this is another brush brush from TJ Maxx. It came in a brush set, so I don't unfortunately know what this is called. Um, but it just looks like a contour brush. So I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild contour palette and this is really good. And I noticed with this foundation when I blend the bronzer in it just is seamless unlike any other foundation I've ever had. So I just kind of bronze up around my face, temples, brings life back to my face and then I am going to blend it down my neck yeah I'd like to kind of warm up my chest too so that it all looks like it goes together I put a little bit on my nose okay and then for blush, I'm using the Milani blush in Luminoso. I think everybody knows about this blush. It loves this blush. It goes with any skin tone and gives you a little bit of like a glowy look to it too. So it looks more natural. I'm just going to pop that on the cheeks. I love this blush. And yes, I like applying a lot of blush. Okay. Oh, and the brush that I used is the Wet n Wild P65 brush. And isn't this brush so pretty? Look at this. Like, it's like a rose gold packaging. It's so nice. I love it. Okay. And then to blend everything together, I have this other Wet n Wild brush. Um, and this is cute as well. It's a white brush and the bristles are pink at the top of the brush. I'm just gonna blend this all together with this brush, just a clean brush. Okay. So that's how the face is looking. It still has a little bit of a glow to it, which I like, but I like how I, how that um, face powder kind of mattified it a little bit. So next, I got the brows. I always use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. kit. Was use the Real Techniques brush and this does not have a name but this is what the brush looks like it's just a little brush don't really use that but I as you can tell which one I use um, I use this one over here and this is it comes with a wax and a powder I use the powder just to fill them in because I don't think that I need that much to fill in so I just kind of run over it And I just kind of fill them in so they look a little bit fuller. Okay, so next is the eyes that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I haven't used this in a while, so I love it. it smells exactly like chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my lid color. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna take this Japanese brush that's what it looks like um, first I'm gonna kind of set my lids with a white color it's white chocolate just 
pizza everywhere. Okay, so now that I just have that set, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna take creme brulee and rub it in there and then put that all over my lid. As you can see, it's like a pink color. I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I just took um, in the white chocolate color and there's a color champagne truffle and I'm actually gonna put that in my inner corners to brighten it up. You can see how I gave the effect to brighten my inner corners up. And actually I'm gonna go up here with that color as well under my brows. And then I have another Japanesque blending brush that I'm gonna use. And I am going to go into milk chocolate and put that in my crease as my transition color. I'm gonna take more of that and put it under my lower lash line. I'm excited that it's finally warming up. We had some uh, warm weather so it was starting to get warm and then went back to rainy and cold. I mean, it, that's what spring is in upstate New York. So it is what it is, but it's finally starting to get warm out. So I'm excited about that. Tell me if you guys like warm weather or cold weather, like if you're excited about the summer or if you want, I mean, some people like winter and they don't like how hot it gets, but I love the summer. Spring and fall are probably my favorite because it's still warm out, um, but it's not too hot. So the next I'm going to go in with hazelnut. Yes, I'll do that. And I'll put that more towards the outer corner. Well, that doesn't seem to be giving off that much pigment. It's okay though. It's still showing something. You can kind of build it up if you keep adding some. And then just to deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to triple fudge. And then I'm gonna bring that under the lash line as well. And do the same thing on the other side. And then just blend it. And then I feel like I lost some of the pigment from that creme brulee color, or not creme brulee. Oh, I guess the first color that I used was marzipan. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna go back in with that pink marzipan color and add a little bit more to my lip. And then last, I'm going to go in with mascara. Actually, that's not last, I have a lip color and then that will be last. And then, oh no, no, and then I have setting spray, so this is not last, but for mascara, I used two. So the first one I go in with is by L'Oreal. It's a um, Lash Paradise. So I use a Lash Paradise. And I love this. I think it kind of separates and gives a lot of volume. A lot of people say it's actually comparable to the one that I'm going to be using next, which I think it is. So you can see the difference. Really opens my eye. And I put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. See, I think it makes a big difference. And then the next one that I use is a Too Faced Better Than Sex. I use the waterproof version. So yeah, a lot of people do say that this is a dupe for the original, um, which I think it is. But I like the original, but this stays on no matter what. This will not be coming off. You can cry, it will not come off. And that's what I love about this. Um, so I always go with the waterproof. It is kind of annoying to take off because you really got to scrub it but it's good and I don't want my mascara coming off especially in the summertime when it's hot I want it to stay put so this is a good one for that and I love the packaging of this it feels very heavy and luxurious so we're gonna go ahead and put that on top of the other one and I'm going to use the mega last I just picked this up I'm gonna use the mega last liquid catsuit high shine lipstick um I have another one in this, um, in the liquid catsuit. I have it in the red one and I really like it. So I want to pick up, um, a more natural one. 
I think this is more natural looking and it's not as in your face as the red, so I'm gonna apply that. I really like that color, it's really nice. So, oh, and last, I'm going to set my makeup so that it definitely stays in place. I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Um, I love the spray, it makes my makeup stay in place, so we're gonna spray that all over. And then I'm just gonna fan my face so it dries. Okay, and that pretty much the completed look. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's a fresh springtime makeup look and my skin is still a little dewy, which I love. I love the foundation so much. Um, so yeah, if you guys love this video, then give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.